when controlling an arterial bleed, you're going to notice that arterial is, is indicated more by like a pulsating brighter red blood um, that's harder to stop. Um, if there's no bone fractures, we're going to use really good solid direct pressure. Um, if it starts to leak through, you'll only add more bandage to the top of it. You never take away the bottom because then it pulls the clots off and you start from scratch again. Um, I still like to go with the elevation as long as there's no bone fracture, spinal cord involvement. Um, and, and that lets gravity work with us, not against us. But direct pressure normally, even if it's at heart level, is usually pretty good. Once the bleeding is under control, the wrapping of the bandage works very similar. You're going to keep that direct pressure down. We're going to start at the distal end or the, the end of the arm and work towards the heart. That way we're not going to trap blood down in the hand any more than we have to. When you get to the top where the wound is, you can put a little twist to the tie, which helps apply a little more pressure. After you've got this tight enough, check for any uh, leak through bleeding. Make sure you check for capillary refill to make sure you're not having a tourniquet effect with a too tight a bandage. Elevate above the heart. Activate EMS. Watch for a reoccurrence of that arterial bleeding. If it does, add more bandage and more wrapping to create a pressure dressing. And then let's get this patient to the hospital.